as far as Jennifer goes with the physical comedy, I mean, from from sort of, you know, throwing beef bourguignon down her throat and ending up with it all over her face when she's pregnant and hungry or to this orgasm scene that we have in the cheese bar. <laughs> you know, she's so fearless in, in her approach and she, she, she sort of comes at the work with this reckless abandon that, that a lot of people um, shy away from. And that's why I think she's so successful. One of, the, one of the many reasons why she's so successful in this genre is she's so believable and she's so carefree in it, and which makes her so watchable. It's fantastic, you know, it's lovely. I've never had such a family energy on, in my workplace before, and it's, gr it's great for everyone. Uh, but, yeah, she's, she's, she, she's a new mother, and she is, uh, so she brings that, I mean, it's still so fresh for her, and she, she brings that to work, and it's evident, you know, it's, and it's great. I think this, I don't know, I, I haven't spoken to her about it, but I would imagine that this seems like such a pertinent role for her at where she is in her life. And, she took a bit of time off, and now this is the film she chose to do after her, you know, after her time off with the kids, and it kind of makes perfect sense. There's a couple of scenes in the park with the, uh, the, the dad character who, who be befriends Stan and becomes an ally of Stan's. One of Stan's only allies and friends that we meet in the film, actually, and that character, uh, the dad character, facilitates a bunch of stuff for him, and, and one, w one of those things is is he becomes, he becomes, uh, uh, he becomes a person who's, who shows Stan the true beauty of, uh, or the reality of having kids, but the, the moments of true beauty that are possible when you are a parent. And Stan's a young man, and the last thing on his mind is, is a family. <laughs> you know, I mean, he sees Zoe, uh, Jennifer's character, and, he, and, he's, and he's like, wow, she blows him away, and, she, and he wants to get to know her more and spend more time with her. But, but having a family and doing the whole thing is, is not, is the last thing, is the last thing uh, on his mind. Michaela Watkins plays Mona, who's Jennifer's best friend and, and sidekick, and she's a mother of four. She is, she loves, oh, she may, she may get upset at me for, for giving, I don't know if she loves being a parent, but she's, 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 uh, she's sort of a, <laughs> she's a reality check for, for Zoe, you know, and um, she is, uh, she's come to a place of acceptance about what's happened to her vagina after giving birth to four babies. He's very clear in his vision and he's very, uh, I trust him implicitly and he's, he is, um, every direction he gives is so succinct. I mean, when you first meet Alan, it's evident that he's an intellectual, you know, I mean, that he's a thinker and that he's a reader and all that stuff. But, it, it spans across all the emotional stuff as well. I mean, he's so he's so in, he's he's so clear about what he wants, and he's and he's so articulate about how to sort of help you get it. I mean, the direction he gives me, I never have troubles with, and I really enjoy. And so it's been terrific working with him. And he loves comedy. He's very he has a really innate understanding of what's actually funny. The Backup Plan is a romantic comedy about love and marriage in reverse. It's about what not to do when you want to fall in love and have kids and get married. It's about the way absolutely you should not ever think about doing it. And, uh, and it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, an ele it's got elements of brave new comedy, it's a physical comedy, it's an intellectual comedy, and it's a feel good too, you know? Uh, we, deal with, we deal with lots of issues uh, that we all have and don't talk about much.